Introduction Today's morning is very good. Yes, Dad. It is a sunny day. So, how is your study going? The study is going very good, Dad. Excellent, Aryan. Dad, I want to ask you something. Yes, dear. Dad, all these vehicles such as cars, trucks, etc. run on fuel. Yes. Does the space shuttle also run on the same fuel? My son, a special type of fuel is used in space shuttle. What kind of special fuel, Dad? They use hydrogen in the external tank to lift off the space shuttle. Would you like to learn more of it? Yes, Dad. In this lesson, you will learn hydrogen and its compound. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Locate the dihydrogen in the periodic table and define the isotopes of dihydrogen. Explain the preparation of dihydrogen, physical and chemical properties of dihydrogen. Explain hydrides, position of hydrogen in the periodic table. Hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table with atomic number 1. As it has only one electron, so its electronic configuration is 1s1. Because of the dual behavior of hydrogen, it is quite difficult to find a proper place in periodic table as it has resemblance with alkali metals and with the halogens. Like alkali metals, it has only one electron in its valence shell. Like halogens, hydrogen is shot only by one electron to complete the inert gas configuration. Dihydrogen H2 Occurrence Dihydrogen is the most bounteous element in the universe. It is about 70% of the universe's total mass. Jupiter and Saturn mostly consist of hydrogen. Half of the mass of the Sun and some other stars made up of hydrogen. In the combined form, it forms 15.4% of the Earth's crust and oceans. Earth does not have enough gravitational pull to retain the light hydrogen molecule, so it is not found in our atmosphere. Isotopes of Hydrogen Hydrogen has three isotopes. Protium Its atomic number is 1 and mass number is also 1. It has one proton but no neutron in its nucleus and one electron in its 1s orbital. It is represented by symbol H. Its abundance is 99.985%. Deuterium Its atomic number is 1 and mass number is 2. It has one proton and one neutron in its nucleus and one electron in its 1s orbital. It is represented by symbol D. Its abundance is 0.0156%. Tritium Its nucleus has one proton and two neutrons and there is one electron in its 1s orbital. It is an extremely rare isotope. Out of 10 to the power 18 molecules of ordinary hydrogen, there is just one molecule of tritium. This isotope of hydrogen is radioactive in nature and emits low-energy beta particles. Its abundance is 10 raised to the power minus 15%. Preparation of Dihydrogen H2 Laboratory Preparation of Dihydrogen In the laboratory, hydrogen is generally prepared by the action of dilute mineral acids on metals such as granulated zinc. Few pieces of granulated zinc are placed in Wald's bottle, which is fitted with a thistle funnel and a delivery tube. Dilute sulfuric acid is poured through thistle funnel. The acid reacts with zinc, evolving hydrogen, which is collected in jar by downward displacement of water. Pure zinc is not used as it is non-porous and therefore, after some time, the reaction slows down. Hence, granulated zinc is used that is impure and it increases the rate of reaction. Commercial Production of Dihydrogen Electrolysis of Water 
It involves the electrolysis of acidified or alkaline water. We use dilute H2SO4 to make water acidified. Dilute sulfuric acid is enough to make water act as an electrolyte. When anode and cathode are connected to a battery, it produces a small amount of current of the order of few milliamperes and bubbles start appearing in the two arms of the voltmeter. The anode collects oxygen and the cathode arm collects hydrogen gas. The reactions taking place are Dissociation of H2SO4 H2SO4 gives 2H plus plus SO4 2 minus Dissociation of H2O H2O gives H plus plus OH minus Reaction at cathode H plus plus electron gives H H plus H gives H2 Reaction at anode OH minus gives OH plus electron 4OH gives H2O plus O2 Overall reaction 2H2O gives 2H2 plus O2 At the anode, OH minus ions are released in preference to SO4 2 minus ions. This is because it is easier for an OH minus ion to give up an electron quickly than for the SO4 2 minus ion to do so. Since the sulfuric acid itself does not participate in the chemical reaction that is taking place, it can be called as a catalyst of the reaction. Commercial Production of Dihydrogen Dihydrogen can be prepared by the action of steam with red-hot coke as given below. The water gas formed is also called synthesis gas or syngas. Then water gas is mixed with steam and is passed over heated Fe2O3 and Cr2O3 at 770 Kelvin. Then CO is oxidized to CO2. Gaseous mixture of CO2 and H2 is then bubbled into cold water under pressure when CO2 dissolves leaving behind dihydrogen gas which escapes out. This reaction is called water gas shift reaction. Properties of dihydrogen Physical properties It is colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. It is lighter than air and collected by downward displacement of water because it is insoluble in water. It is highly combustible. It is the lightest of all elements. Chemical properties of dihydrogen Reaction with halogens The reactivity of halogens with hydrogen is fluorine greater than chlorine, greater than bromine, greater than iodine. Hydrogen reacts with halogens to give hydrogen halides. Reaction with dioxygen Hydrogen reacts with dioxygen to give water. Chemical properties of dihydrogen Reaction with dinitrogen Hydrogen reacts with dinitrogen to give ammonia. Reaction with metals Hydrogen reacts with metals to form hydrides, where M is an alkali metal. For example, 2Na plus H2 on temperature 525 Kelvin gives 2NaH. Chemical properties of dihydrogen Reaction with metal ions and metal oxides Hydrogen reacts with metal ions and metal oxides to give corresponding metal. For example, Reactions with organic compounds when hydrogen is passed through edible vegetable oils at about 473 Kelvin in presence of finely divided nickel as a catalyst, they undergo hardening and change into edible fats. Uses of dihydrogen It is used in synthesis of ammonia. Nitrogen and hydrogen passed to heater 
where these are heated up to a certain temperature. After that, they are compressed and then passed to heater, where the reaction takes place. After that, the mixture is passed to waste heat boiler, from which ammonia is cooled and then stored, and nitrogen and hydrogen are recycled. It is used in the manufacture of Vanaspati ghee. It is used as a rocket fuel in space research. It is used in fuel cells for generating electrical energy.